Hey everybody, are you ready for our letter today? Our letter today is the letter Q. This is Queenie. She's a bird that's called a quail. Do you see this little feather at the top of her head? You make the sound makes me saying qua, qua, qua. You kind of make her little make her little feather with your finger. Qua, qua, qua. Here's Queenie. The, here's our Q without. A little bit without, without Queenie, who's our capital Q, and our lowercase Q. They look different, don't they? That lowercase Q kind of looks like something else, doesn't it? Capital Q and lowercase Q. Let's try writing those letters. Right, when I start my letters, I need to start about the top. Yeah, you know, you have something to write with a finger or a pencil or something else. Are you ready? Right at the top. When I write Q, it's going to start off like writing O. So a big curve. Keep my other big curve and stop. But then I need to come back down because Queenie's a quail. Quail's a bird. A bird has a tail. Queenie has a tail. Here's my slant line. So a big curve, big curve, jump. Little line slant. Yeah. Somebody has a tail. So one more time, right at the top. Big curve like that C. Keep going, make it an O. A little slant for the tail. Let's try our lowercase Q. There are two different there are a couple different ways that you might see lowercase Q. I'm gonna show you two of them and then, then I'll show you what the other one looks like. <coughs> so just like P. Touch in the middle and it's gonna go it's gonna go low. Q starts like my C, doesn't it? With my little curve. Come back up. Trace back down. My line and my curve. So a little curve. Trace back up. Trace back down. And the tail. You might see the letter Q sometimes. Sometimes that tail is a little straight line. It's a diagonal, it's a slant line. That works too. Line, big line, and the tail. The other way that sometimes you see Q, you might see a Q that's just written like that. What does that look like? Yeah, it looks like a nine. So you have to look at it. If it's in the middle of a word, it's probably not the number nine. It's probably a Q. But the ways that we learn to write Q, usually in school, you'll see this way, or you'll see that way. Usually you learn to write it this way, but I want you to know those other ones so that when you see them, you aren't surprised. They're all Q's. My Q things today, I have three of them. Are you ready? My first one is a kind of money. It's worth 25 cents. It's not a penny, so it could be 25 pennies. It's bigger than a dime. It's bigger than a nickel. It's worth 25 cents. It is a... Quarter. This quarter has a picture of George Washington. Some quarters have other things on them. But if it's this size, look, there's an eagle on that side. So here is my quarter. I bet you have quarters at your house. You could ask mom or dad and see if they can show you some different kinds of some different ways that quarters may look. My next cue thing is something you might see in a book. You might see it with writing. It's an, it tells you that somebody is asking something. Remember we said that when there's a telling something that ends with a period, if they're asking something, it's going to be a question. It's going to end with a question mark. Yep. A little curly cue, isn't it? A little curly, it's a question mark. It says, I'm asking a question. I want to know something. We said questions are a ways to learn things. Like, why do all the balls roll? Are all balls heavy? Do they all bow? She said, those are all questions we could ask. You guys are really, really good at asking questions. If you ask a really good question today, let me know. My last Q word. We talked about this Q thing when we read the book something from nothing I think that's the book it was I remember that they turned 
they made it wasn't that book it was one of our recycling books and we said they could take old pieces of fabric and they could put them all together into a blanket and that blanket was called a a quilt I'm gonna step back and show you one of my quilts my mom and I made this quilt together So we took some of my old t-shirts that I wanted to be able to remember, but I really didn't wear much anymore. And we turned them into a quilt, a blanket. A quilt is a little bit different because usually there are two sides to it. So there's one side and there's the other side. And if you can see in here, there are there is stitching that goes all the way through there and it takes a long time for somebody to do that. People who have some very special talents know how to do that. And I wanted to show you my qu qu quilt. So quilt question mark quarter. Have a great day.